Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, myself, Dr. Sahil Thakral. I am the academic uh, JR uh, junior resident in All India Institute uh, of Medical Science, Jodhpur. Uh, today, uh, presenting the e poster on a topic the use of the breath analyzer in the examination of the drunkenness in COVID pandemic. How and the new process? Uh, before I go into the background, first we have to understand the definition of the drunkenness. The definition of the drunkenness is given by the uh, in 1927 by the British Medical Association that the, it is a condition produced in a person who has taken alcohol in a quantity sufficient to cause him to lose a control of his facilities to such an extent that he is unable to execute safely the occupation in which he was engaged at a particular time. And now I come to the background of this uh, e-poster. Uh, there is a risk uh, that the COVID-19 uh, may be transmitted to the assessor or the assessor either by the traditional or with the modern method of the use of the breath analyzer. In, in the traditional method, the assessor either used to smell the breath of, of the subject or passively used to smell the hand of the subject after he or she exhale on there. Uh, due to the use of the N95, the smelling distinctly is also not possible. The smell of the alcohol, uh, alcohol in the breath is still is very important fact to mention while examination of the drunkenness to reduce, to reduce the risk of the transmission by correctly using the devices that is with the single use disposable uh, mouthpiece and the dispose of the hygienically and dis disinfected appropriately using the alcohol-free wipes. Any trace of the rubbing of alcohol on the units may alter the readings. Uh, during the pandemic, it is recommended to minimize the use of the breath analyzer to introduce a new two-stage two process for taking the breath test reading from the subject. The existing devices can operate in the two mode, the passive mode and the active mode. In the passive mode, uh, is is uh, when the subject speak closely to the device but not contact it directly. The passive mode detect the presence or the absence of the alcohol but not the alcohol concentration. The active mode requires the subject to blow into the disposable mouthpiece. The and the active uh, active mode uh, indicates the presence of the bel uh, blood alcohol concentration. Before I go into the process, first we I have to. Uh, uh, Tell about the how the uh, how the alcohol breath analyzer work. The alcohol moves from the mouth down to the throat to the stomach. In the stomach and the small intestine, alcohol is absorbed into the blood that has already been exposed to the lung oxygen. About twenty percent of the alcohol is absorbed in the uh, stomach and around 60 to 80 percent is absorbed in the small intestine then the the oxygenated blood carries the uh, alcohol throughout the body to the brain and the lungs blood passes then the blood passes in front of the tiny air sacs in the air, air in the lungs called the alveoli where the alcohol is transferred to the lungs and exhaled through the breath now i come to the process how we use the breath analyzer there were, uh, for the forensic clinical practitioner uh, who use the breath analyzer are adhered to the uh, instruction below. The hand, and hand hygiene and the standard precaution are to be taken when conducting any form of the test, uh, breath test, uh, may use the, uh, uh, may use to choose, uh, choose the wear the gloves. A breath analyzer is assigned to the subject until the subject has finished using the breath analyzer during any one service encounter. The breath analyzer has been cleaned with the standard infection control procedure. The clinician instruct to wash their hand before and after the use of the breath analyzer. The health workers are maintained to maintain a safe distance while conducting a testing. Uh, the health workers are wear, are wear a surgical mask and the eye protection when within, when within the 1.5 meter of the subject. Now come to, I come to the uh, tune, two modes, the one is passive mode and the active, uh, active mode. In passive mode, the clinician demonstrate the subject how to start the breath analyzer reading in the passive mode. Press the arrow button on the right hand side of the breath alcohol analyzer, analyzer and pass it to the subject in the passive mode. Uh, and the step away uh, to the distance uh, of the 1.5 meters 
the subject hold the device themselves and the conduct the passive test according to the clinician instruction ask the subject to press the start button speak or count to the 10 directly into the machine or wait until the uh, breath analyzer machine make a noise of the beep once record recording the reading and show the reading to the clinician if the result of the passive test indicates the alcohol is present the clinician decide whether the breath alcohol concentration assessed by the breath analyzer in active mode is required or not the and if the alcohol is not present, then the machine was cleaned as per standard guidelines. If the breath alcohol concentration is required and the breath analyzer being used, used, used as an active standard mode using the mouthpiece and the same breath analyzer should be used to obtain the reading. In the active modes, uh, where if possible, the active test should be conducted outside. The clinician show the subject how to use the breath analyzer the clinician move at least 1.5 meter from away from the subject until the subject has conducted the active breath, breath test. The mouth uh, mouthpiece can be disposed of in biomedical waste bin. Both the subject and clinician perform the hand hygiene after disposing the mouthpiece. And the clinician clean the machine using the known alcoholic wipes. Uh, and in the infection control, the following use of the breath analyzer, the device will be cleaned and disinfected using the alcohol-free vibes and the standard infection control process. Thank you.